Hi everyone, my name is Madeline Bagnasarian and for this art project I chose the artist named Vladimir Kush. He is an artist who was born in Russia and a little bit about him and his life. So he was obviously, like I said, born in Russia and at age seven he attended art school and he became acquainted with the works of great artists of the Renaissance, famous Impressionists, and modern artists. And he went to military school at about at about age 18 and he ended up painting propaganda posters. So after military he graduated from the Institute of Fine Arts and he painted portraits to sell and to support his family. So when he was younger, research shows that he was, I guess, poor and he, like it says, he sold his paintings basically to support his family. And in 1987, he took part in exhibitions organized by the Union of Artists. And at a show in Germany in 1990, he displayed all of his paintings and he sold all of them. And after that, he flew to LA where 20 of his works were exhibited and he began, he began his American Odyssey, is what he calls it. And in LA, he worked in a small rented home garage, but he couldn't find anywhere to display his paintings, so... In 1997, he had a new start in USA, exhibiting in galleries in Hawaii and Seattle. And in 2001, he opened his first gallery in Hawaii. And now, currently, he has four locations in the United States. And the way that I found him was actually recently in the summer. I was in Laguna Beach and I was walking around and I saw this really, really cool um, art museum and I went in and all the paintings were just honestly awesome and it's like, it was like nothing I've ever seen before. His art is very unique and I've, I've never seen anything like it and I actually have a few pictures. Of. Okay, so this one is called Haven, and as you can see, it kind of looks like the ocean right here, but it's actually the sky, and these are clouds, and the boats are, it looks like they're in water, but they're actually in the sky, and the explanation for this is which I found on the internet, on the website cuted.com. It says, whether we know it or not, we are all part of a flare that floats towards some kind of haven. So that's the meaning of that one. And then I have another one it's right here. And this one is called Eye of the Needle, and it's actually a popular thing in biblical terms, I, I presume. I, and um, the explanation for this is that another metaphor, it's another metaphor for life. The human living spans through time like a caravan through the desert in search of water and prosperity, while the difficulties encountered are portrayed by the large eye of the needle through which each of us must pass. So I thought those were pretty cool. And overall, his art is very unique. I don't really know how to explain it because it's just, and if you look up more of his things, it's very fascinating. And I, he actually does do sculptures, and this is actually one that I really liked. And it looks like a shell, but it's actually two people. It's a man and a woman. I thought that was really cool. That was one of the things that I saw in the museum that I really liked. So, yeah, basically that's it. That's the overall story of his life and a little bit about his paintings. And his name is Vladimir Kush, so.
just wanted to share that cool thing with you guys. Thank you.